M0 FXB, let's set up a DMR channel in VFO mode. So if we just back out, there's our VFO, there's memory on the, the red button. That's VFO mode. Now if we want to start making some detailed changes and create a DMR channel, what we need to do is go menu and go to channel details. Now there is a shortcut where you can press the green button and we'll call this the function button at the same time and it'll take you straight to, to this. But you, sometimes you have to do it a couple of times. Anyway, channel details then select and here we can't we can't change everything but we can change the things that matter so <clears throat> we don't need CTS, ctcss because we're going to go down and we're going to select dmr so there it is there mode dmr we're going to change that to dmr just with the middle channel changer knob okay let's and then we'll just go through now we want to let's change it to our hotspot so we'll go up my hotspot and we can dial it you can't turn the knobs or use the arrows you have to dial four three one five five uh zero 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 is my hotspot now if it's a repeater you would do a shift so you go down one and obviously if it's a shift just change that tx frequency but it, we're not we don't need to do that so we're just going to go four three one five five zero 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 so that's my hotspot and at the moment we've got it in dmr mode Let's go down now, DMR, so go past DMR ID, now go to color code, we can set that, normally it's one on my hotspot, then go down another one, time slot normally two, we can change that, now it says here we can select a receive group as well, it says there Brandmeister, I'll leave that, go past CSS, past bandwidth, Pass step, timeout, well we could set that if we wanted to, but at the moment it's off, but you can change that. Receive only, no. Zone, do we need that? Not really, not for a, just a VFO channel. Or skip, no. Now let's just see what that means. Or skip, now I'm not sure what that means. All skip, does that mean um, monitoring? Like, does it mean receive both slots? Not sure about that. Well, I'll find out. All skip, no, box off. So in theory now, we should be able to activate our uh, hotspot. So we'll have a look at that. Let's back out. Um, talk group nine, it says. So what it's letting us do is select our contact going up and down with the up and down arrow. So look, if you look here, it says talk group 91. These are just some of the contacts that are, are pre-programmed into the radio. So if we select talk group 91, time slot 2, and then we'll go and key by our hotspot. I'm just going to show you regarding contact. If you go menu and go to contact, which is the one above the channel details, and select, look, you can create a new contact, like so. Just select it and create one. If you go back, or you can go to existing contacts, and then you can go up and down. You can select one there. That's the one we're going to use there. Okay. Select TX, and that's it. So just waiting to uh, test it on our hotspot now. So there's our hotspot there. There's the details there, and it's working great. I've just tested it, and there's someone talking now, but if I key the mic, it does um, show my call sign as uh, being on there. So that's it, manually entering a channel on DMR. Bye for now.